channel. If you're not familiar with the channel already, you'll realize that myself and Harry are posting consistent free content on marketing, social media marketing, the do's, the don'ts, and sharing our experiences and the journey. So that should be really useful for you. And if it is, please like and subscribe. It does help us out. However, in this video, I'm actually going to go right back to basics and talk to you about how to start and grow a social media marketing agency with zero experience in 2023 and beyond. It can be done. We're witnessing it happening all the time. The actual um, demand for, for good marketing agencies is incredibly high these days. If you're thinking about getting out of the nine to five, thinking about how you can even make a side hustle of extra income, then this is the video for you. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so how do you do it? Let's go through the basics and let's just really map it out on how to start and grow a social media marketing agency with zero experience, okay? Point number one. So if you're watching this, the first thing you need to know is you have to become obsessive in social media marketing. You can't do this as a flyby thing and, you know, in between time. You can operate your business that way, but you, to get started, you need to ditch all the other time-wasting tasks. What I mean by that is, and I'm not saying you don't have to have a life here, guys. You can enjoy your life, but you need to become obsessive. Get off Netflix, okay? Get off Snapchat. And to a degree, you want to get off Instagram. Anything that's not educating you at this point, get rid of it. You don't need it in your life. Become obsessive. So start to throw yourself and indulge yourself in the world of social media marketing. It's incredibly important. If you can eliminate all those time-wasting tasks and you can really what I'm talking about is being disciplined and focused because that's where a lot of people go wrong is they don't give it their full attention. So give the industry your full attention and become productive, okay? The second point to this is then what you're gonna do with your extra time or what you're gonna do is indulge in free content, okay? There is so much content online, not just through Tom and Harry's channel, which is this one here that you're on, but there's so many other people who are actually really good and worth following and it's worth you watching all their content all of it. Go back and back and back and back and back and in, and throw this content into your mind. Make notes, okay? Follow people on Instagram. Start looking at what these people are saying and doing and what some of the softwares they're using and, and really learn from people who are in it and doing it because that will really educate you hugely, okay? There's loads of free content online. There are mentorship courses you can purchase. You have to be very, very careful that you're actually buying the right course from the right person. And this is not for me to sell our course. That is not what this video is about, okay? But do maybe look into getting a mentor and having a very good course behind you with excellent mentorship. That's what I did and it really fast-tracked my learning. So that's point two that you can also focus on. The third point to this is once you've started to get into this mindset, so you're like, okay, I'm gonna do this. I can do this and I'm going to start it. I just need to know what I'm doing. That's the key thing. Once you understand how social media marketing works and, and the do's and don'ts, then it's a case of saying to yourself, okay, what service am I going to offer and how much am I going to charge for that service? Map out, once you've done your research, map out what services are important. Now, I can tell you on this video that you want to be offering meta ads, okay? What used to be Facebook ads, it's not Facebook ads anymore, it's meta ads because it's Facebook and Instagram, and they also show it on other, other streams of platforms too. So, meta ads are really, really key. They are complicated, yeah, without a doubt, which is why a professional like me runs ads and Harry and we get paid to and people are willing to pay us because it is complicated but you can learn it so all the free content online you can learn that but you want to be offering meta ads you also want to be offering email marketing to your clients that you're going to approach through and you might be saying well what email marketing do I use get familiar with MailChimp or Active Campaign or uh, MailLite okay Softwares like that really, really help businesses because if they have a big database of people, chances are they might not be emailing these people on the regular to increase their services and to increase traffic to their website or to increase the amount of people who come to their, um, to their business. So get really familiar with email marketing softwares. Once you know how they operate and work, you can use them really, really effectively and you'll then be better than 
your client knows how to use it. And, and this is the whole idea is if you start to educate yourself in these ways, the businesses that you approach will know that you know more than them. Therefore, they're willing to pay for that knowledge and for you to apply it. So meta ads are a really good start. Email marketing is a really good start. It could be that text messaging is something that you want to implement with a with a client or offer to a client. Loads of softwares like FireText, ClickSend, there's uh, simple texting, there's a ton of SMS uh, softwares out there which you can use. Okay, so I would say email marketing, meta ads, SMS software, it's up to you, but it's always a nice additional. And maybe the, the, the fourth service you wanna look at is managing their social media. It could be that they haven't posted on YouTube much in the last month or they haven't had time to do any, any of the social content. Don't have to create the content, but at least maybe schedule out some posts and get them prepared and get them looking nice and, and posting regular um, content on their socials. That's a nice additional service to offer. As a basic package, that's enough for you to really add value to a business to say, I'm gonna do this, 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 and this. I'm experienced in it and I know how to do it and I'd like to do it for your business. My fee is, and at the beginning, I would say you don't wanna charge anything less for that service than about $800, okay? So roughly, and this is all, but this is, comes down to your discretion. If it's, if it's a side hustle and you can do all this work in a short period of time, then charge what you want. It's not an issue and there's no, when you're first starting out, remember that you take what you can take, but don't be taken advantage of. Okay, so learn your service, learn the softwares that go with it, and then have a pricing structure. Maybe have two or three different tiers of pricing that you offer. That shows that you're professional and that you've thought about it, okay? And it gives people choice A, B, or C of what they want. If your pricing structure changes, then your, the amount of service that you offer, that changes too. So maybe don't do email marketing or text messaging um, and just do meta ads or whatever. That's up to you to kind of investigate and, and figure out. But once you understand that, you'll know what your service is, what your price is, and you'll know how to do it, okay? Fourth part of this is that once you know that, then create a name. If you're freelance, then, you know, have, like my name's Tom Ford, so you could have Tom Ford Media, um, or Jack Jones Media, or Jack Jones Marketing, or Marketing for whatever.com. It's up to you. You can either position yourself as a freelancer, okay, which often at this stage when you're beginning, is easier to win clients, in my personal view, at the very beginning. If you announce that you're a freelancer, sole trader as it is in the UK, um, and you're an independent, you know, in the US, if you're watching this, you could be an independent person just doing this as freelance. That's fine. And actually you'll get, I think you'll get a warmer response than trying to claim you're a big business and that you're a marketing company. It's, when, you go, when you go freelance, it's actually much more personal. And I think at the beginning, it's much easier to persuade people to start partnering with you than it is if you're trying to hide under a, under a, a marketing name, okay? So my advice of that is either create a name for your business or go freelance. At the very beginning, I'd suggest you go freelance, okay? If you are going freelance, then you've got to make sure of a few things are in order. So is your LinkedIn profile adequate? Have you got a LinkedIn profile? If you haven't, you need one. What's your Instagram look like? Because it might be that you now want to get yourself verified on Instagram, which you can now do for eleven ninety nine a month. You might want to just get yourself verified on Instagram, have in your bio that you work with particular people and you do a particular service and you're now a professional person. And make sure your content on Instagram is kind of, you don't have to start posting about marketing, but maybe give little bits of marketing advice or get on camera a bit more. Um, if you are going to post about your life, make sure it looks kind of professional and you're not smoking and drinking and just looking like a wild individual who doesn't take their life seriously and isn't worth investing in. So just make sure that's kind of up to speed, okay? The fifth thing on this is once you've got that, all the rest that I've talked about, have a think about what services you're going to approach. You know, is there a particular industry you like to work in? And, and study those industries. If you're going into the um, construction industry or, or home improvements industry, then get yourself in that world, do your research, go on Facebook ads library or meta ads library as it is now and look at what ads are running, okay? Type it in and, and type in on Google, um, advertising for home improvements, advertising for construction, advertising for uh, landscape gardeners, and you'll get a real sense of what is going on. You'll see the good, the bad, and the ugly, okay? But it will really help you. 
And then once you know what three industries you like and you might be more passionate in, um, then go and approach them. You can either cold call them, email them, visit them in person. There's so many ways to get clients. What I say is at the very beginning though, please remember this, is tap into your inner circle. Now that may not be as part of your three or four niches that you're looking at, but try and always a approach people who um, are in your within your inner circle. So friends of friends who might have a business, family businesses, whatever. Whoever you know who knows who knows someone, try and get in front of them and say, look, I'd like to, I'd like to work with you. Okay, and then it gives you a chance to present to them, talk you talk them through your plan, your proposals, what your pricing is, what you offer, and and that's really then you're underway, and you, you're going to get someone say yes to you very very quickly, which then comes to the point. Then what makes it easier to get a yes? A good presentation, okay, and a good understanding. So if you do have a good understanding, you don't sound like you're a bumbling idiot when you're talking to them, and you're not you know, and you and you are unsure and all this sort of stuff. That's not going to help. You've got to be confident. You've got to come from a place of authority. You've got to know your stuff and do all the things that I've just said previously. But then if you get someone who's, who's thinking about working with you, say to them, do you know what? I'll give you a three-month trial, not free. Those days are gone. So I'll give you, I normally just do six months. You can say to them, look, I normally operate a six-month contract with me, but I'm happy to give you a reduced rate on a three-month trial. So it could be that you actually go in at £1,500 a month, but then say that because it's a three-month trial, I'll do a reduced rate of £700 a month for the next three months, but you have to sign the contract of the three-month trial. Three months isn't a big gamble for, for a business. It's not, believe me. That's January to March, end of March. It's not a long period of time, and you need three months to really get you know, to get the setup going, to start running the ads, to prove that what the process is, is working. Um, and I think positioning it and saying, you know, I'll give you a three month trial at a reduced rate makes you, it makes it seem like you are, it makes it seem less threatening for them, less risky for them. And it kind of makes them feel like they're getting a good deal. It's a really nice approach. It's something that is new that I'm trying to get people to understand is actually acceptable and okay. Um, and I think you'll do that. And if you're offering three month trial contracts, paid trial contracts, then you will get people say, yeah, okay, I'll give you a go. I need to do something with my marketing. You absolutely will, I promise you. It is a numbers game. The more people you hit up and offer your value and your service and tell them a price and tell them how experienced you are, the more people you do that, the more chance you have of getting a yes, I promise you. If you're just hitting up 10 people in a month, that's gonna be very, very difficult to get someone to say yes to. If you're hitting up 100 in a month, or even 200 in a month, you're gonna get people say absolutely yes. You've only gotta get five people, or 10 people at 500 a month, for example, and you're looking at a really nice additional income, probably more income than most people earn in a month anyway, okay? And that's super manageable with, those many, with that many clients. So as a summary of this video, I'll just really quickly summarize it. Get productive, get off Netflix, Snapchat, stop wasting time. Every inch of time, that, ounce of time, sorry, that you're giving on something else means you're not giving your focus and full attention on what matters. Get off those things. Learn the basics. There's a ton of content free online. Like everything you possibly need to start your SMA and to grow at your business is all online for free. Even through our channel, you can get enough content. You have to wade through it and it'll take you hours and hours and hours, but if you're off all these other things, you've got time. Throw yourself into the world and consume as much free content as possible. If you wanna fast track that, buy a course. And yes, myself and Harry do have an incredibly good course that teaches you everything and a mentorship program from both of us. And it is second to none and you will grow and scale 20 times quicker, I can promise you. Um, decide what service you're gonna offer and what, at what price, and then decide whether you're gonna be freelance or an actual business and adapt your position accordingly. Um, aim for three or four different types of industries or niches as we call them in America, niches, um, and just figure out what type of business you wanna work with and hit up your inner circle first. That can be out of those niches, okay? Hit up your inner circle, friends and friends of family of friends who might have businesses, get to them and say, I wanna work with you on a three month trial. For free, like not for free, but like paid trial. All right, and then on the last one is a three month trial paid. That's a nice way to position that is not pushy and makes it seem like you're giving them a good deal too. And I think that's fair on you and them when you're growing and starting. 
So with that in mind, please like and subscribe to the channel. Um, there's going to be loads more videos now. Myself and Harry had a little bit of a rest on the channel because the agency and the business is growing and, and for many, many different reasons. We are getting back on it. So please do not miss videos. We're going to be posting every single day running up through the end of the summer and throughout the autumn and the fall so and beyond so please like and subscribe comment please and um, we love receiving your your positive feedback um, on how you're getting on tell us your journey and things you're struggling with just please comment and we will always try and help you where we can we're available on dms on uh, instagram you're going to see more content coming on bo on both our instagrams very very soon so yeah good luck and believe me, everything is possible and there are businesses crying out for your services. So get to them, but do it in the right way. Okay, see you on the next video. Thanks guys.